Do you want to take your editing ability and level it up? Well, the Magic Mask is a fantastic tool and I'm going to show you how to use it. Let's go. How's it going guys? My name's Dan and you're watching Dan Vinci and welcome to the very first video on the channel. So please subscribe. I'm I'm desperate for subscribers. I'm uploading this to literally one subscriber and that is myself. Oh, boo so if you stumble across this video, you are probably the first person to ever see this channel. So hello, welcome. So we're going to jump into Resolve. So first of all, I've got a simple, simple timeline here of a car on a driveway. So if we click play, there we are. So it's just the camera, just pivoting around the car, very simple stuff. The first thing you wanna do if you wanna create text and put it behind an object, you wanna create two of the same footage. One piece of the footage will be the layer on top and one piece of the footage will be the layer at the bottom. And then the text will be sandwiched in between. So what you wanna do first is click Alt and while holding down Alt, you wanna drag your footage up and you'll create two pieces of identical footage. If you go into the color tab, now this is where the magic mask is located. We can see here that I've got a node tree that I've created just a LUT and I've brightened up the exposure just for the sake of the video. We want to create a new node. Now click Alt S. Alt S creates a corrector node. Now this is the node that we're going to be using the magic mask on. What we now want to do is navigate down to the tabs at the bottom here and we want to click on the magic mask tab. Now the magic mask tab is just the little person. If you're unsure just drag your mouse over them and it just tells you each one. So the magic mask if you click on that it'll open up this little tab here. So now what we want to do is drag our little timeline to the beginning here and then we want to create a stroke. Now it's very simple just drag your mouse over the object that you want to do, draw a little line like so, boom, and as you can see in the timeline overall track stroke one has been created. So if you click play here, boom, it's starting to track the vehicle. If you have more footage or you're editing at a high resolution or your computer is quite slow, this can be affected. But in our case, very, very quick, very simple. If you navigate over to better as well, you can also track this in better. I would recommend tracking in better if you have a more powerful PC. If you have a slow PC, maybe do faster, but I haven't really noticed a huge difference between the two. So if we go over to the now highlight button and click the highlight button, we can now see if we drag along the timeline, we now have a car in a gray void which I think is pretty insane as far as I'm aware Adobe cannot do this like it is just insane so now we have the car now if we go over to our timeline nothing's really happened why is that well it's quite simple if you go back into your color tab right click in the node tree area this is the this is the node tree here right click and click add alpha output now this creates an alpha output for that footage which means the alpha color channel is available if we then drag this blue square over to the alpha output and go back onto our timeline and deselect the clip underneath the footage that we've been editing by clicking D. Boom. We now have a car in a black void this time with the car just sort of sitting there looking all nice in the black void. Sort of like the Minecraft black void or something. I don't know. <laughs> you might be saying, Dan, this isn't much use to me. It's a car in a black void. Yes, it's not much use for anyone really, a car in a black void. So what do I do from here? Now, it's quite simple really. When you put them on top of each other, what you can't see is that the car is perfectly aligned with the other car that's underneath it. But because the clips are exactly identical, they never show each other. So it just looks like a normal clip. So. What we want to do, find our text plus, or you can search that in the toolbox just by clicking search, text, text plus. If you scale up the text, as you can see, as long as the text is sandwiched between the two shots that you've made, the text shows behind the car. So that's literally pretty much it. And you can just type whatever you want. So for example, Dan, scale that up, change the color of it. Let's say we want black, gray kind of color like that. Scale it up, settings, move it up a little bit. Full screen it, boom text is behind the car. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the very first video on my channel. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to get to know you guys. If you're watching this, you might be the very first person to ever see the channel. Wow.